but also uh, the other council members who are contributing today that helped me to keep this uh, important and proven so uh, solution for uh, cleaning up our streets moving forward. Um, I also want to thank our San Diego Housing Commission, who I think is critical uh, in serving as a fiscal agent uh, for this particular uh, donation. And of course, the Isaiah Project, uh, led by both um, Mr. Ross and Mr. Olympic, who are both here today, um, you have uh, you know, created, brought this model to San Diego, shown that it's worked, and I think that's why you're seeing this council action today. Um, my questions are first for uh, Jerry, I, I presume Mr. Olympic, if you can um, talk about this. I want to make sure that it's clear that uh, the funds, the $45,000 that we're providing today, how long do you believe that will allow uh, the check-in center to operate? That'll take us through the end of June, and we're in the process of raising private funds for the rest. True. So this uh, this amount of funds will allow you to operate until about June 30th of this year. Um, and then you anticipated my next question, which is what uh, are, is the Isaiah Project doing uh, to continue the operations? And your answer is that you have a fundraising plan in mind. And I understand there was an event this past Friday uh, uh, for someone had a birthday uh, trying to raise um, some funds to keep this going. Um, but I guess the, the point that we're trying to make is that this is, uh, in, what's, in the budget world, this is known as one-time funds. Uh, and that there is very much the possibility that we would not be able to replicate this contribution going forward. Um, I think it's the council members intent to show our support for this project um, and allow you to be able to leverage that to go out to the private sector and to the public and solicit their support. Is, is that your understanding of today's action as well? Absolutely. We want to thank the, the council for its efforts. We appreciate it. Thank you. And then for Mr. Packard, Mr. Packard, thank, great to see you here, our representative from the San Diego Housing Commission. Again, thank you uh, for stepping up to the plate, helping to provide uh, the conduit, if you will, uh, for this contribution. Um, is the Housing Commission anticipating, uh, if, if members of the public saw this today, understood the action, and wanted to make a contribution, uh, is the Housing Commission acting to try and find a way to accept donations on behalf of the check-in center? We are. We're doing that right now, um, setting up a system whereby we can accept those donations on their behalf. So that's our intent. Okay, so that's your intent. You don't have something to announce today, um, but you hope to have something that we can publicize uh, in the near future. In a week. Terrific, in one week. Uh, well, that's outstanding. Uh, and so thank you, uh, gentlemen, very much for, for helping put that on the record. Um, Mr. Young, I couldn't be prouder of this council uh, for this action today. Uh, through Mr. Ross's uh, passion for the issue of homelessness, uh, he brought this concept to San Diego. I was in Los Angeles a number of months ago and saw their uh, facility, uh, which is much larger, um, uh, but uh, also proven to work there. And I would just say that uh, under your leadership, Mr. Young, I think this council has taken a number of steps that have really shown that we are deeply um, involved in the issue of homelessness. We're serious about finding solutions, whether it's uh, the Isaiah Project's uh, check-in center, uh, the World Trade Center, which we uh, started construction on uh, last week, or the number of other various efforts that we're helping with, whether it was the Center City Development Corporation's efforts in downtown, uh, United Way's Project Home, uh, Project 25, and of course our, our newly invigorated Housing Commission uh, under Mr. Packard's leadership, who is bringing more leadership to the issue of homelessness. Um, I'm very proud of the progress that we're making. Naturally, there is still much more work that needs to be done, um, but I think that uh, we can uh, be proud of our collective efforts and what we're trying to do to really help those uh, who are most vulnerable in our community who have the least resources possible. Um, and I'm uh, very proud of this action today. And again, I want to thank all of my colleagues uh, for their support of this action. This would not be possible without your support and generosity. Uh, and so I would move the item, Mr. Young, and uh, again, thank you. Thank you. Um, motion by Mr. Gloria, second by Mr. Faulkner. Mr. Faulkner, did you? Or did you want to have, did you have any questions for the, oh, I'm sorry, Ms. Uh, just briefly, uh, that uh, I'm glad that we were able to support this uh, call out to uh, Mr. Ross and, and and you as well to for, for helping to pull all this together. Also, uh, a shout out to Dan Bamberg in the city attorney's office who negotiated the court settlement that uh, led to this uh, facility in the first place. And I might add, it's not just to, to benefit are homeless, but also the people who live and work in the area, because uh, if we had to shut this thing down, imagine all the stuff that would wind up back on the street, and that would be a nuisance and possibly even a health and safety uh, issue. Um, I would just additionally ask that uh, oh, the IBA perhaps add this to our short list as we uh, look at our mid-year budget adjustments. Uh, and see if there's anything that we can uh, deposit, anything more we can deposit into that account so that we don't come up at the end of this fiscal year and suddenly have a crisis again of, you know, the thing is going to close in a week and what are we going to do. So I'd like to start planning ahead. Is that possible? 
Uh, yes, we could do that. All right, terrific. Thank you, and I support the motion going forward. And thank you again, uh, Mr. Faulkner and uh, Mr. Gloria, for your leadership on this uh, and uh, making sure it's on the front burner and that everybody is uh, kept aware and up to date on all of the efforts uh, to help uh, end homelessness and create opportunities for these folks. Thank you, Mr. Faulkner. Thank you, President Young, and I appreciate the. Uh, kind comments from both of my colleagues who have spoken and, and all of my colleagues who helped contributed to this check-in center, which is located in uh, in downtown and one that's working. And that's one of the biggest reasons that uh, I was happy to work jointly with everybody to make sure it continued to work. Um, and I would just uh, highlight a couple things. And, and Ms. Emerald, I'm glad you, you uh, mentioned Dan Bamberg in the city attorney's office. Uh, and uh, Mr. Bamberg, if you're watching or listening, I too want to say, uh, uh, great job. We spent a lot of work on that. In fact, I visited the center with Mr. Uh, Bamberg uh, firsthand. And I also want to send a thank you out to the San Diego Police Department and particularly uh, Chief Boyd Long, who was very instrumental in, in bringing this together. Uh, the center works. Uh, it w there was a lot of trepidation at first, as David knows and Jerry knows, about would it be accepted by the residents and the businesses. Uh, but I think you have proven that, that it can be and that it, and that it works very well. Um, and so this funding that the council was able to uh, cobble together, if you will, to keep you going for another <clears throat> five months is, is very important. But what's more important to me is that we have an ongoing funding source. And Mr. Packard, I want to thank you and Mr. Gentry because you are um, willing and are taking a look at how can this be funded permanently to get to my colleague Mr. Gloria's point. So we're not lurching from quarter to quarter, fiscal year to fiscal year. And as you pursue those funds, whether those be community development block grant funds, and I believe that uh, Mr. Gentry has indicated that he thinks that might be a, a logical solution for this, you will enjoy, I think, strong council support to do that. So I think there is a, there is a key role here that the Housing Commission can play uh, with this project. And I, and I would just say that um, having seen uh, firsthand the people that use the center, it's important. And from all walks of life, um, people that don't have a place to store some of their belongings who are unfortunately homeless had the opportunity to meet uh, uh, many people who are using the check-in center. And I would just say it's, a, it's making a huge difference. It's affecting real people who need that, uh, who need that ability to uh, go in, do some other stuff. I talked to one gentleman who was on his way. He was going to go to a job interview later that day, as David, as David remembers. And, uh, so it is working. I'm happy to support it. And I would just say to... Uh, to everybody who's involved, thank you. The way that it's run and operated has been very important, and as we continue that, I'm going to look to see that those same rules of the road, if you will, are uh, are in place. So, with that, President Young, I uh, just want to thank the council for their support. Um, and thank you all for doing what you're doing. And thank you, Mr. Alvarez. Thank you, Council President. I want to thank my colleagues for bringing this to our um, our attention. Um, I. I am a contributor to the cause uh, because I think that um, the community of downtown does take on a large burden when it comes to um, uh, homeless issues and I think we should try to do as much as possible to support that. Um, I also just want to end by saying this, that I want to thank um, the city attorney's office but also a uh, gentleman here from the project uh, for bringing this idea forward to here, here in San Diego. It's something that perhaps as we figure out how to move forward with trying to resolve our, our homeless uh, situation and how to help people. Um, it's, been, it's been refreshing to see a new idea, uh, something that uh, is clearly working and hopefully we can uh, expand that in the future. So thank you for doing that. Thank you. Did you want to make a final comment before we vote on this? Yeah. I just wanted to thank everybody again and starting with Sherry, thank you dear so much for contributing and knowing how much this has been. Uh, Kevin, thank you for leading the charge on this because I knew when you came down there you saw that that was so valuable. For, as you say, not and as Marty said, for everyone in the city, for the city, we've been able to have about 120 people who have gotten jobs and employment since they had a place to put their stuff. And we will continue in that operation the same way as that you saw it. So thank you very much. Todd, thank you so much, too, for your 
leadership. And, and, and by the way, Kevin, I sent you a birthday party. I hope it wasn't out of the ordinary when you get jammed up with the police or something. I sent you a bottle of water for your birthday. And if you, I did receive it, and it was under the $25 limit, did, so thank you. you. Did <laughs> oh, my God. If you'd have given 20 grand, I'd give you two bottles of water. But, you know, I, got, I, I kind of broke as a joke here. But, Todd, thank you a lot, I know. And then my girl Pam in the back. Stand up, Pam. Come on, baby. No, come on. No, I'm serious. I know the amount of work you guys did to get this thing forward, Pam, and I appreciate your effort. Carl, God love you. Even though your machine's up there, I still love you. <laughs> well, I don't love you, but I like you a lot. You know? And Lori, thank you for your contribution, too. And uh, appreciate it, dear. Really do. Marty, thank you always for being sensitive to this stuff. It helps so many people in the city. I hope one day, by the way, that we won't need, as David said, we won't need a place to store people's things. We won't need some old cat called the Waterman. I mean, I give up my position in a heartbeat, Carl. This franchise is for sale, in case you don't win in the Merrill deal thing, because you're going to be out of work, baby. <laughs> so, yeah, so don't, don't put me on Front Street, baby. I could be your last call. So anyway, thank you again, Marty. I appreciate it. Uh, David, thank you for, it's in your area, and, and we hope to have more, and hope to ultimately have less. Mary Jo, thank you, dear. I appreciate you a lot. <laughs> Jeff, I don't know what you do up there, but you got a, <laughs> must be doing something. You got a nice suit on, and that's cute as a button. And uh, Tony, I'm my black brother from another mother. Um, I love you, and I know you appreciate this place. I appreciate you coming down and taking a look at it all the time. All right, thank well, you. Thank you. And Liz, without you up there, these cats wouldn't be able to do anything. I mean, I know they got all the suits and the juice. And you do all the work. All right, thank Come you. Come see him. Two drink minimum anytime. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we have a motion in the second. George, too. I love you. Like Please vote. Ms. Leitner. Call the roll. That passes unanimously. All right, we'll go to our next item.